Are you preparing to install a sprinkler system or simply replace your worn out, frustrating, or outdated irrigation controller? And you're tired of the cheapy ones you find at the home centers or hardware stores? Maybe you're interested in one of those new fan-dangled Wi-Fi timers. Well, you've come to the right place because in this video, I'll show you the best professional grade timers and where to get them. Tom Lanier here with Sprinkler Pros. Be sure to stick around to the end of this short video to get your free downloads to help you with irrigation. Be sure to like and subscribe and click the bell to be notified when the next videos are available too. Small print here, I don't get any compensation from the companies I'm discussing here. I just have a lot of experience to back up what I'm about to share. In this video, I'm almost strictly speaking of AC timers, not battery operated timers. I say that with one exception, which I will discuss at the end of this video because the one exception ties in with one line of AC timers I'll be discussing here. I'll discuss battery operated timers in a future video. Also, I will not be showing you how to program your timers here except to show how easy these timers are to operate. You can find other videos on my channel that show the programming steps. Over 36 years I have dealt with just about every model of irrigation controller out there. I will from here on out call them sprinkler timers. I began working in this industry when all we had were mechanical gear driven timers and the most popular one was the Lawn Genie made by Richdell. Richdell became Irritrol, which is now owned by Toro. I started in this industry in 1984. Around 1986, Hydro Rain came out with the first hybrid timer that incorporated electronics with an electronic display and it was reasonably priced. Man, when this came out, I installed a boatload of them. These were so well built that I still see these timers in operation today. That's 35 years. The dial display was so easy to operate that it lives on in its grandchild, the Irritrol Rain Dial Timer Series. This is the first one I'll talk about today. Let me preface by saying that there are dozens and dozens of sprinkler timers, both residential and commercial grade timers. There are many that are made specifically for home center and hardware store market. I don't recommend those as they tend to be confusing and difficult to operate. I replace many of these for folks that tell me they can't figure them out. What do I replace them with? Professional grade timers and that's what I'll show you now. One of the big benefits of professional grade timers that cheapy timers and the new popular Wi-Fi timers don't have is easy access terminal strips. This makes testing and diagnostics easy peasy. You can also install more than one wire to a terminal screw if needed, which you can't do with some of these other timers. More than one wire isn't recommended, but people do it. When I meet someone who says, son, I want the easiest darn sprinkler timer there is. This is the one. The Raindow series, as previously mentioned, got its start in the Hydro Rain HR6100 design. The Raindow design is hands down the, the easiest timer on the market to program and operate. But just because I say this, don't stop the video to buy it on this info alone. Be sure to hear what I have to say about the other timers first. I might shed some important light on your situation and needs. Okay, when you change any of the settings, you need to flip the slider switch here to the middle notch. To program how many minutes you want for each station, just turn the dial to that station and use the up and down arrow keys to adjust the timing. To say yes or no to which days of the week you want to water, simply turn the dial to each day and use the up or down arrow keys to toggle on or off. To program what time you want the cycles to start, just turn the dial to the start times section here and set the start time.
Then to turn the timer on or off, slide the switch to off. And to turn it on, slide it to run. It's that easy. It has three programs available. And if you don't know what that's all about, I'll be creating a how-to video for programming and operating this soon. So be sure to subscribe and click the bell to be notified. Inside we have a battery backup and the wiring is easily accessible here. The newer rain dials with the blue interface also have a port here for plugging in optional features like weather stations, Wi-Fi units, or this extremely handy remote control device that allows you to be anywhere on your property within range and turn on whichever station you want. This is great for inspections or repairs. No more running back and forth to the timer or using a walkie-talkie with a second person. If you're in the industry, this is great because you no longer need a second person on certain large jobs just to be standing around or sitting around at the timer while the other person does all the work. Go to my resources page linked below to pick up one of these gems. If you have a rain dial, total control, or several other irritable timers. Warning, do not get this transmitter wet. I know that sounds really crazy, but they haven't made it waterproof and it will freak if it gets any water inside. This timer is built like a tank and the outdoor model is weatherproof, unlike the transmitter. It's also easy to install. This timer is available in 6, 9, and 12 station models. If you need more stations, then the total control series goes up to 48 incrementally. It uses a similar interface, yet friendly like the rain dial series. Is there a downside to the rain dial series? Yes, it costs at least 25% more than most, but you get what you pay for. I have seen some of the originals built in the early 90s, still in operation, and with its simple design, it's worth the price for many people. As mentioned earlier, I have been around just about every timer out there and an objective about my observations regarding the quality of the units, their ruggedness, and their ease of programming and operation. For this reason, I'll say that I'm not a fan of any other brand other than the ones I'm showing you, so I won't be discussing those here. Well, if the Raindow series is the easiest timer on the market to operate, then what's the second easiest? It's the Hunter series of timers. Hunter currently sells about 13 different models of AC powered timers with variations of each. A few of those are normally only used on large properties or commercial properties since they handle many more stations or zones if you want to call it that and have a multitude of programming options that the typical person would never use. I won't go over those here. That's for a future video that's targeted for the green industry professionals. What I will show you today is the most popular hunter timers that are common to most people. First thing I'd like to say as we narrow down the field is that Hunter has done a great job at making a durable product that's easy on the eyes and easy to install and operate. They're very forward thinking and create their products to accommodate add-ons that may not even be invented yet. I have a video called Programming a Hunter Controller that I'll link here, but I'll give you a quick tour so you can see how easy these are to operate. After you're done setting the time, then turn the dial to the right again to the start time setting. Once you're finished with the start times, it's time to set the run times. Run times means how long each station or zone waters. To learn a rule of thumb of each type of sprinkler or drip system, watch my other videos on programming the controller to help you with this. Turn the dial to run times. The first station showing will be number one and it will show however many minutes it's programmed for. Now use the plus or minus buttons to change the minutes as needed. Press the right arrow button to move to the next station. Repeat until all wanted stations are set. 
Now, let's move on to set how many days a week it will water, so turn the dial to water days. Use the plus button to say yes and the minus to say no to watering each day while using the right arrow button to move through the days. I'll first separate the field by whether the timer is Wi-Fi capable. Those that are not Wi-Fi capable have one great thing in common. Their intuitive dial interfaces are pretty much identical, so it makes learning them a snap. Those that are not Wi-Fi capable in the group I am discussing are the X-Core and the ICC series. I'm including this one since it's just as easy to operate as the others mentioned here, but has the capacity for many more stations by way of eight station modules you just pop in as needed. DC Timers here is one exception to the AC timers that I want to briefly mention because it looks like the AC powered Hunter X core timers, but it's DC powered for those situations where you can't get AC power out in the back 40. It runs off AA batteries, but the ideal way to install this is with an optional solar kit, which only takes a few minutes to install and keeps an included battery pack charged with no hassle. There are more battery powered timers available, but I'll go over those in a dedicated video in the future. Those that are Wi-Fi capable with dials are the X2 series and the Pro C, which is expandable to 8, 16 stations from four by adding modules. Now, regarding the Wi-Fi timers, there are actually five total in the ones that I'm showing you. The two that are only Wi-Fi if you want them to be are the X2 series and the Pro-C. The X2 requires a simple plug-in module called a wand and the Pro-C requires a simple replacement of the panel. It usually costs as much as the base model Pro-C but you don't have to mess with replacing the entire unit and rewiring it. The beauty of these Hunter Wi-Fi timers is that they use the same HydroWise software. It can be operated from anywhere using your PC, tablet, or smartphone. You can also operate them on the timer interface, which you cannot do with most of the other Wi-Fi timers out there. Some of the main features of the apps are simple or complex programming, your choice, free access to local weather stations so it can adjust your settings according to the weather and turn off the cycles when it is or will be raining or freezing. The smartphone app can be used as a remote control device so you can be anywhere on your property and turn on each station as long as you have good phone reception to the internet. There are many other features. Remote control kits. Many of these Hunter timers have the ability to receive add-ons such as rain sensors and mini weather stations, I call them. They can also be operated remotely using these remote control kits. This is called the Roam. It is intended as a residential limited range remote. I haven't had good experience with this one. I've never been able to get it to work around corners or through fences, so be sure you can return it if you dare to purchase it. This is the one I use. It's the Rome XL kit. It has a stated two mile range under normal conditions and you can get it wet all day long without harming it. I wouldn't say that about the standard Rome. Okay, I hope all that was helpful. The easiest professional grade timer on the market today is the Irritrol Rain Dial series and the second easiest but more moderately priced is the Hunter series. I told you in the intro that I'd reveal my all-time favorite, so since you stuck around to the end, I'll let you in on it. Okay, drum roll, please. Okay, my all-time favorite sprinkler timer is... Envelope, please. The Hunter X2 series of timers. Okay, here's why. The ECXC series began in the year 2000 and it was such an easy timer and changed very little during its four generations, but it lacked three things that I wished for all those years. 
Wi-Fi capability, indoor and outdoor capability in one unit, and a backlit display. Now the X2 has packaged every great thing into one. Why is a backlit display so important? Well, in my 37 years in this business, I so often find the timer had been installed in the deepest, darkest corner of the garage, shed, or utility room, so it was difficult to read the display. The X2 is only available in a waterproof version, so it's good indoors or out, and it's lockable. Here's a bonus tip. Keep the door closed when you're not using it. I have replaced plenty of timers that had been left open and reined in. Now, where can you get these awesome sprinkler timers and remote control kits? Well, just click on the resources link below and I will send you in the right direction. By purchasing your products through my resources page, you help me bring you more of these insightful videos from an industry professional with three decades of experiences in the field. I'll be releasing more best of videos, so be sure to like and subscribe and click the bell to be notified when the next videos are available. Remember, the free downloads available by clicking the link below. What professional grade sprinkler timers do you prefer and why? Let me know in the comments section below. See you next time. Tired of the cheapy ones you find at the home centers or hardware stores? Are you preparing to install a sprinkler system or simply replace your worn out? Okay. <laughs> that's enough. <laughs> the yep. says that's enough. <laughs>